Yet again, there is news that is gonna be huge for Theta. And that is that CAA Creative Artists Agency is purchasing ICM Partners. Now you may not even know what those two companies are, but we're gonna talk about it today and why it is huge for Theta. Hi, my name is Jeremy, and if you wanna follow along my journey as I build wealth for my family, then subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. And remember, none of this is intended to be financial advice. I am merely a guy sitting in front of a computer talking to a camera. This is really big news. CAA, basically one of the largest talent agencies in Hollywood, uh, is purchasing ICM Partners, which is basically their rival, the other big talent agency in Hollywood. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up some articles. All right, so we did a video about CAA. In fact, I'll link that up here. They have partnered with Theta and they represent a ton of high profile talent, uh, movie stars, athletes, and basically the partnership with Theta is going to allow them to do Theta drops or NFT drops for all of their different talent. It is going to be huge. And I know Theta has not done what all of us had hoped it would do in the period of time over the last few months. But look at the fundamentals of Theta. Look at what it's done over the last three, four years. Price went from pennies to over a dollar and up to 14, 15 dollars in a short period of time. And it's pulled back and obviously we're dealing with other economic factors right now that are sort of pushing down uh, crypto, but don't let that scare you away. I have not sold. I think that there is huge, huge potential. I've been saying it for a while. There is big potential with Theta, and why would I sell my golden ticket now? Um, I've held through a whole lot of ups and downs. I may as well keep holding. Uh, but this is what's crazy. So in this article right here, it talks about CAA is purchasing ICM partners. Came together in a secret meeting over a short period of time. I believe the purchase price is something like $450 million. And again, ICM partners, they have a ton of different talent that they represent. $550 million uh, for ICM. Now we know, and I think it talks about it in here, so CAA already has talent like Jennifer Aniston, Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx, Sean Penn, Brad Pitt. I mean, these are huge, Chris Hemsworth, these are huge names in the film industry that potentially could be releasing NFTs over the next six months, year, uh, two years, five years. We know Theta has a, a game plan in place uh, to try to get global adoption and CAA is a huge part of that. Uh, now, if you look down here though, it says ICM Partners has not focused as much on movie stars, but still features a roster of busy clients. And so here's some of those people, Rebecca Ferguson, Samuel L. Jackson, Michael Keaton. And then if you come down here, they've also got John Cena, Alec Baldwin, Chris Rock, Chris Tucker, Jeff ba Daniels, John Travolta. I mean, these are huge names. CAA already had huge names. Now with this merger, this purchase, they are gonna be adding a whole lot of other big names to their roster. Could you imagine what uh, John Cena could do with NFTs? At a lot of his shows, he hand signs autographs. In fact, there's a, a video floating around on uh, YouTube of him signing like 3,000 autographs in an hour time. Uh, pictures that were sold at uh, one of his shows or his events. That's just one event, 2,500 signed photos. Imagine if he was releasing NFTs on the Theta Drop marketplace. Elijah Wood, Jeff Goldblum. I mean, these are big, big names. But not only that, they have directors as well. You've got uh, Sofia Coppola, uh, Spike Lee, Tom Hooper, Woody Allen. And I wanna take you back again to the price of Theta. Right now, we are at 495, uh, 494, there we go, we just dropped a penny. <clears throat> And if you look at the short term, even the three month, uh, you can see here we spiked up to $9 back in September for a per brief period of time and then it came back down. But I want you to, to keep in mind, if we look at the year to date, look at where Theta was a year ago. It was at $2, $2.25. And we're still almost three times higher than that price a year ago. So there are still strong fundamentals with Theta. And if we go to the all time, we were less than 50 cents, 20 cents for a quite a while, all the way up until like mid 2020, we were still less than a dollar. 
all the way up here, De December of 2020 is when we started to really get a spike up. If you have Theta, you are still early, early on. Even if you bought it when it was at eight, nine, 10, 12 dollars, you are still early on in what Theta will become. They are doing things with NFTs. They will be doing things with ticket sales. They will be doing things with streaming. I know a lot of people still don't know what Theta is, but that will change over time. We don't know why Theta hasn't been on Coinbase. Uh, there's obviously a plan into what they're doing. Once it hits Coinbase, you will likely see a large uh, uptick in people buying into Theta. But regardless of when or if it ever goes onto Coinbase, over the coming years, Theta will continue to grow. Uh, Katy Perry is launching her NFTs later this year. Whether you like her or not, she has a massive following and it will affect Theta in a positive way. People are gonna learn about NFTs, they're gonna learn about Theta, and hopefully if you're in with Theta, then you're gonna go along for the ride and you're gonna see massive gains. If you haven't already purchased Theta, it's difficult in the US, but I put together a video right over here, it's starting, walks you through the whole process of buying Theta in the United States. Big shout out to the Patreon subscribers below. They help make this channel possible. Go check out the video. I'll see you over there.